Men who come from violence are ticking time bombs, and sometimes they hide it behind jokes. Thank you for this comment. So here's the thing. I, this last video I made about Ryan Reynolds, I swear, y'all, this is not going to be about him because I've had to block more people over the stupid videos about Ryan Reynolds, which aren't even about Ryan Reynolds. I don't know him. I don't care. I'm using him as an example because celebrities influence millions of people. And this is a man who has opened up about a lot of his trauma, but minimizes it, hides behind jokes, and promotes exercise, just exercise, as a way to heal. And that is reckless. And it's cowardly because either a he hasn't dealt with and just tries to be this like role model for men while consistently disrespecting his wife trolling her online and that has been so normalized in sitcoms and in, 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 in on tiktok and all over the place for men to just hate their wives and then wives in response to that being like yeah it's totally normal to be hated by your husband this is normal couples hate each other no it's not I do not hate my husband. I love the crap out of him and he loves the crap out of me and he would never humiliate me even under the guise of jokes ever. So I don't know if, if Ryan like loves Blay. I don't know what his deal is, but I do know that men who do not deal with their trauma, that stuff does not just go away. And so either A, he is still dealing with it but refusing to actually deal with it or B, he has been to therapy and is too much of a coward to talk about that and instead wants to be a big, tough, strong man who says some stupid meditation app and exercise is enough. And I swear, like, I, the comment section when I talk about, like, use celebrities as a jumping off place to talk about big issues that affect everyone I know. Yo, like, are you saying that, that, that people shouldn't exercise? Because I get a lot of, I should, shut up. That's not what I said. I need exercise. When I don't exercise, I am not fun to be around. I have ADHD. I'm super hyped and I implode when I don't exercise, but exercise alone is not enough. And I say this as someone who ran from trauma for years. I'm gonna make a whole separate video on climbers and how to ask any woman who's dated a climber. I, 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 I dare you. Any woman who wasn't a climber herself or even was a climber who's dated a climber, almost every time they're like, never again, ooh, because they're running from trauma. The same way a lot of these celebrities are running from trauma and comedians are running from trauma. They throw themselves into their work. They throw themselves into literally anything, anything to avoid dealing with their past. And, you know, like one of my mutuals, Silverside, says a lot, escapism, escapism is one of the biggest problems that is standing in the way of men healing, right? Instead of actually facing the most painful thing you can face, which is your past and your how terrified you were of your father or your mother, whoever it was, rather than actually do, do the really hard work of facing that, I'm just going to run a marathon. I'm going to go climb Everest. I'm going to like work and work and work and work and buy like a football, you know, team and do endless movies back to back and like, you know, keep my wife pregnant. But everything is chaos all the time. So I never have a moment of peace and stillness because in those moments, that's when the trauma is like, boo. As somebody who literally hid behind exercise and comedy, which is what I was talking about, Ryan talking about, I'm telling you that doesn't work. And why do I care about this? Why do I know about this? And it's not about Ryan Minnows. It's about something that men do because I lived my life much like a man, much like a man. If you know my content, you know that I was like big tough girl. I lived in my truck for over five years. I literally wrote about this for the Washington Post several years ago about me being the dude, the dude who was married to adventure, i.e. running from tra trauma, and avoiding relationships and healing that way. Let me know if you want me to go into this because this is really something that I think is very important we should talk about. And when you don't deal with that, I say this as somebody who grew up through the ranks of comedy world in New York and then LA, men who date women who have not done the work on themselves and are, are comedians are oftentimes some of the most Dangerous people I've ever been around. Insecure men, which is that's what it comes down to. You are not confident if you're running from trauma. I'm sorry. You are avoiding stuff. You are overcompensating, right? No, I'm not afraid of the world. And I see this is literally how I thought. I'm not afraid of anything. I will go hang off a 1,200-foot wall with by one piece of metal and a rope or whatever. I'm not afraid of anything because look at all this big, tough, scary stuff I do. Ask me to be open and vulnerable in a relationship. 
I was like a child and I ran from trauma and did really crazy things, adventurous, dangerous, reckless things in order to feel strong and in control. And that's what I did in comedy too. I'm going to tell jokes about fork and a clown about, you know, all these times I've been coerced and I'm just going to laugh about it. I'm not actually going to ever deal with it. I'm just going to laugh about it, make jokes about it, pretend like I don't care. But when men make, when men become comedians, a lot of their jokes are punching down. They're making fun of people. They are criticizing anyone they have power over, which is why, again, when men's jokes, it's not that men can't be funny, but unhealed men, the healing never ends. But really unhealed men on like the very unhealed level of this of the spectrum are passive aggressive, sarcastic, or just bullies in me. So Ryan's sense of humor is very familiar to me. It reminds me and his, you know, I'm going to heal with sports. Again, maybe this man is a very evolved man. Maybe he's very happy. Maybe everything is good in his life. I don't care. This is not about Ryan. But if you are healing and using therapy, but then promoting sports instead, you're a coward. I don't care if there's a stigma against it. I had other comments, people criticize me. Well, there's a stigma against men going to therapy. So, so, do you know how much stigma there is against me being, having schmegs and not being ashamed? I face, you know, there's a lot of rules against what women can and can't do. And you know what? We just do it anyway. So stop the hiding behind, oh, you know. So let me give you an example of somebody a man who has been very honest about his journey. I know y'all, and please, if, if you say some racist stuff, I'm blocking you immediately because this man and his relationship with this woman brings out the worst racism. So I don't care about your thoughts on these people. I'm just using them as an example of the way men need to be talking about their mental health. If they are a celebrity with a fork ton of power, this dude right here, do you know why he finally got help? Because he tried to date women while being unhealed, not doing the hard work. And then she wouldn't put up with it. So this right here, early on in their relationship, he snapped at her in a cruel fight. And that led to this man realizing he needs to get help. It's not just going to go away. He said she was calm. Like after they, they took some space and then afterwards she was calm, uh, but said in a quiet level tone that she would never stand for being spoken to like that. She said she would not tolerate that behavior, especially not with kids. Um, she would not tolerate that little level of anger and disrespect. She's the one who helped him realize he had a lot of unresolved childhood trauma and he needed to deal with it because she was not going to deal with his unhealed trauma. He needed to deal with it. Now, obviously, when we're healing together, we are going to help each other heal. But if, if you're with a man who refuses to heal his stuff, you will pay a hefty price. And so will your nervous system. And this is how women end up dead when there's even no physical violence because living with an unhealed man who will not deal with his trauma is so stressful i had a, a father like this and my nerve to being around that man was exhausting and this this part i love when he tried to tell megan oh i tried therapy and i couldn't find the right person she's like no try again try again and he realized that in that moment in that art he scared himself he scared himself that he reverted back to being that 12 year old boy when things got difficult with his partner. And I've said this before in other videos, one of the reasons why this couple gets so much hate, I don't care about any of the other stuff. I'm just telling this one point. And again, if you talk, especially if you talk crap about Meghan Markle on my page, I don't know her. I don't care. Maybe she's a terrible person. I'm, but we don't know her. But from what we do know of her, I think she's doing things right. And she's endured a lot of hate and a lot of misogynoir. And one of the things that people can't stand, men and a lot of women, is that this man was willing to put her first. He's willing to move to her country. After she moved to his, he was willing to do the work on himself to keep her. A lot of men aren't willing to do that. You can take notes from Meghan Markle. Again, they're celebrities. We don't know that. I'm literally using these as an example. When that man was late on their first date, he was like, uh, excuse me, never again. And he's a prince, you know? She's like, she knows her value. She knows her worth. And she knows that she deserves better. And when he snapped at her one time, she's like, no. Never again. It's not that men are not allowed to make mistakes in relationships. Uh, I want that kind of grace. I'm going to mess up. It's about what they do afterward and us being able to have hard conversations with them. But men who will not heal, will not change, will not evolve and are insecure because of a lot of trauma and hide behind humor and sports and hobby and marathon and all kinds of stuff. Those men are not going to be good partners. Those men are dangerous. And when their 50s come around and all this trauma finally comes to the surface, you don't want to be around for it.